tornadoes. Tornadoes, written by Keith and Sarah Corton Martin. Focus question, what are tornadoes and why are they dangerous? Words to know, atmosphere, damage, funnel, moist, strike, tornadoes. Table of contents. Introduction, how tornadoes form, measuring tornadoes, where tornadoes form, tornado safety, conclusion, and glossary. Introduction, what can lift roofs from buildings and sweep houses into the air? Tornadoes can. Tornadoes come in many sizes. Some, torna some tornadoes measure only a few feet across. Others are more than a mile wide. Some tornadoes touch down for a short period of time. Others travel for hundreds of miles. A powerful tornado that hit St. Louis, Missouri in 2011 almost tore the roof off this home and turned over an SUV in the driveway. A supercell thunderstorm moves across Nebraska in June 2004, leaving a few tornadoes in its path. How tornadoes form. Why do tornadoes happen? Scientists aren't sure. They know that strong tornadoes come from huge thunderstorms called supercells. These storms form when warm, moist air rises in the atmosphere and mixes with cold, dry air. Scientists think that in some supercells, the mixture of air at different temperatures causes the air to spin. The spinning air forms a cloud in a funnel shape. When the funnel touches the ground, it becomes a tornado. Some scientists think that tornadoes happen in order to balance the temperature and moisture in the air. This funnel cloud eventually became a strong tornado that hit Kansas in 2004 with hail as large as softballs. How a tornado forms. Cold air moves in. Air spins. Warm air rises. And supercell thundercloud. Air keeps spinning inside the thundercloud. Air spinning. Funnel cloud. Rain and hail begin to fall. The funnel cloud touches down and travels over land. Flying debris. The tornado damages anything in its path. The EF scale chart. EF zero. 65 to 85 miles. EF1, 86 to 110 miles. EF2, 111 to 135 miles. EF3, 136 to 165 miles. EF4, 166 to 200 miles. And EF5, 200 plus miles. The EF scale was created by scientist T. Theodore Figutio to measure the strength of tornadoes. Measuring tornadoes. Scientists are still studying the causes of tornadoes, but they have a system to estimate their strength. They use a special scale called the Enhanced Fugita EF scale. It uses wind speed to rotate or to a, to a tornado's strength. Scientists look at the damage caused by a tornado to estimate wind speed. EF5 tornadoes, the most powerful torna tornadoes, have winds greater than 200 miles per hour. <clears throat> Where tornadoes form. 
Tornadoes may be hard to measure, but scientists have a good idea where they will strike. It's possible for a tornado to happen anywhere in the world. However, most tornadoes occur in the central part of the United States, also known as Tornado Alley. More than 1,000 tornadoes develop there each year. Tornado Alley. Cold, dry air. South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. Warm, moist air. Tornado Alley. A massive tornado in Moore, Oklahoma in 2013 left behind a clear path of its destruction. In Tornado Alley, the mixing of air from the north and south creates perfect conditions for a tornado. The tornado that struck Henryville, Indiana in March 2012 caused 39 deaths in five states. Tornado safety. Because tornadoes are so dangerous, weather scientists do their best, best to warn people before a tornado arrives. However, there is no way to be sure that a tornado will strike. The National Weather Service tries to help people stay safe during tornadoes. If they declare a tornado watch, it is possible that a tornado might develop. The NWS releases a tornado warning when scientists have actually spotted a coming tornado. At this point, it is important to get into a safe place. Some towns and cities install sirens that sound to warn people once a tornado has been spotted. This underground shelter was built to provide protection from tornadoes, such as the one that destroyed the house next to the shelter. The safest place to be is indoors, in a basement if possible. The next safest place are closets or bathrooms. Try to stay away from windows because a tornado can blast through the glass. Get down low to the ground if possible. Go under a heavy table or desk and cover your head. You can even go into a bathtub. This sign alerts people that a shelter is nearby and they can find safety in an event of a tornado. Children prepare for a tornado to strike in school by, by crouching under their desk. The spinning cloud of a tornado causes things to fly around. Because this can be very dangerous, it's always important to protect your head. If you can find a mattress or blankets, cover yourself with them. If you are in a tall building, find the stairs. Do not stay inside a mobile home in a, in a tornado. If you're in a car and can't escape the tornado, park the car. Leave your seatbelt on and lean forward. If you're stuck outdoors, lie down flat on the ground, far away from trees. Conclusion. Tornadoes are amazing and scary. Examples of the power of nature. Whether scientists are working to invent better ways to tell when a tornado is coming. Many questions remain about tornadoes. What really causes a tornado? What is it actually like inside a tornado? Perhaps one day we'll find out. A weather scientist studies weather maps to try to spot when a tornado will strike next. Glossary. Atmosphere. A layer of gases surrounding a planet, star, or moon. Damage. Harm done to someone or something. Funnel. A cone-shaped tube that is wider at the top and is often used to pour liquid or powder into a small opening. Moist. Slightly wet, damp. Strike. To happen suddenly or appear. Tornadoes. Fast spinning funnel shaped clouds that touch Earth's surface. Tornadoes. Connections. 
writing. Write a newspaper article for the children about tornadoes. Include facts from the book in your article. Social studies and art. Make a poster explaining how to stay safe during a tornado. Share your poster with your class.